You're watching Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. best volleyball teams in the Lehigh Valley going head to head in early season matchup. Of course, we're talking about Nazareth and Parkland. Yep, and a rematch of last year's District 11 4A title game and both teams already off to hot starts. Entering last night, Nazareth already with nine victories. The Trojans, meanwhile, already with seven wins. A primetime matchup. We expected one heck of a tilt and it certainly delivered. Here's Jenna Kowalski with the highlights. Parkland hosted Nazareth in the EPC Skyline matchup. One team walking out of the gym with their second loss of the season. The first set, the two teams will see their first tie at 9 and again at 18. Nazareth takes the lead and Parkland staying in until the end, but Nazareth takes the first set 25 to 22. In the second, thanks to the Trojan fans and their spirits, Parkland never lets Nazareth take the lead, winning the second 25 to 20. The third, much like the second, Parkland takes control from the very beginning until the end. Parkland up 2-1. This one's make or break for Nazareth, this Blue Eagle team thriving under pressure. This set goes back and forth until Nazareth leads 20-17. From there, they capitalize winning 25 to 19. We're going to a fifth. And what a battle this set was. Tied at 13, this game could be anyone's. Parkland gets the 14 to 13 lead and Nazareth tying it with perfect placement. Parkland gets a go ahead with this kill, barely staying in and then seals the deal 16 to 14. They showed a lot of character. Uh, the Nazareth played with so much heart. And they moved the ball and they had very good ball control and the challenge where we were hitting. The, uh, the left sides with uh, Maria and, Cal and I think Caroline were really giving us some problems out there and, and they were being very effective. Their defense kept the ball in play and they blocked well. So they challenged what we had to do and we had to make some adjustments and we were having trouble making those adjustments because of what they were doing. We were definitely thinking that it was going to be an intense game and a game we had to fight for. So we prepared really hard in practice and um, actually practiced uh, against a really hard outside hit, which we knew Maria would be. She always brings fire every time we play her. Um, I have to give her so much credit for that. Um, it was, yeah, we just prepared really hard. This rematch of last year's 4A district title game had the same outcome. Parkland coming out on top yet again, but this time it was Parkland's heart that led them to the very end. They did the right things at the right time rather than give points away. They, they were trying to learn how to control it which is what's really important, and leadership st stood up. You know, we have a lot, lot to growth, a lot of growth to do, but what they, they do is, is they want to get better, and they, they have very good chemistry. There's no selfishness in this group, and they just want to work together and cheer for each other to be better, and that helps them individually. On the scene at Parkland, I'm Jenna Kowalski for Two Sports. Well, we thought that would be one heck of a showdown and certainly delivered up next for the Blue Eagles. They will take on Pocono Mountain West next Tuesday. Uh, meanwhile, Parkland has Liberty next Tuesday night as well, so that should be another good matchup. Yeah, I would expect both of those teams to be in the late rounds of districts. And how about Emmaus? They've beaten both Nazareth and Parkland, so I would yeah. watch out for them to come up in the final as well. Now we're going to switch to golf. Northampton.